Have you been thinking about different ways to perform leg extensions without a traditional leg extension machine? And perhaps you've been thought about if there are any bodyweight variations available for this. In part two of this series, I'm gonna walk you through the first bodyweight leg extension variation, reverse Nordic curls. Plus at the very end of this video, I'm gonna show you a bonus variation to reverse Nordic curls. So make sure to stick around for that. Right, so let's dive straight into it. Now, reverse Nordic curls, they will target the quads, so that's going to be the front part of your thighs, so the front part of your leg. Let's dive into the technique here. So, number one, you're going to be pressing the balls of your feet towards the ground on the way up. Number two, you're going to keep your glutes locked at all times. And number three, focus on slow and controlled eccentric parts of this movement. Now, I want you to focus on getting your butt to your heels at the bottom position. And on the way up, I want you to extend yourself as much as there's still tension in the quads. So if you go completely straight, there will be no tension in the quads. So don't come to a complete straight position. Instead, leave a little bit of a um, angle in your knees so that you still have tension in your quads. Now let's go through adjusting the difficulty in reverse Nordic curls. The way you adjust the difficulty in this exercise is by bending or extending your hips. By extending your hips, by keeping your hips extended, it's going to be a lot harder. And by bending your hips or keep the hips bent through the movement, it's going to be easier. So if you want to divide this into different levels, it could look something like this. Level one is going to be with your hips bent throughout the entire set. So throughout the whole time, your hips are going to be bent. Level two is going to be you should be straight on the way down, so on the extrinsic phase of the movement, and on the way up, you're going to be bending your hips. And lastly, level three is going to be keep your hips straight at all time. So you're going to keep your hips extended on the concentric phase and the eccentric phase of this movement. So hips straight at all times. And hey, if you get some value from this video, then why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel right there for more similar videos in the future. And one more thing to do to adjust the difficulty here is to change the hand positioning. So if you keep your hands straight ahead of you, in front of your body, it's going to be easier. If you keep them more on your hips or beside you, it's going to be sort of a moderate intensity. And if you keep them above your head, it's going to be a little bit harder. So again, something else you can play around with to adjust the difficulty. And you don't have to be too strict about where your hands are or how your hips are going to be bent. Just play around with this and find a resistance level that's gonna suit you well. And like I promised you at the beginning of this video, here is a bonus variation to reverse Nordic curls. So you can also do this with a band. So you attach a band to something very sturdy, you hold on it with your arms straight, and then the band is going to partially assist you. So this way you don't have to really think about bending your hips at all, because you just adjust the difficulty according to the strength of your band. So obviously a strong band will assist you a lot more, and a easier band will assist you less, meaning it's going to be a lot harder for you. And another bonus I'll throw in here with you, I'll share with you two beyond failure methods you can do with reverse Nordic curls. So at the very end of your set, when you're completely tired, what you can do is you can perform a drop set by bending your hips a lot and then pumping in the last few reps with this easier progression. And another thing you can do to go beyond failure is to simply do a ISO hold. So all you do is at the end of your set when you're completely tired, you just hold yourself in that position and really fight against the gravity with a ISO hold. So those are two things you can do at the end of your set to get even beyond failure when doing reverse Nordic curls. That's it for the reverse Nordic curls. Now, if you wanna see more detailed breakdowns of the rest of the bodyweight leg extensions, then I highly encourage you to continue on with this series for more detailed breakdowns of the rest of the bodyweight leg extensions and for more regressions and progressions to each leg extension. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you found it helpful. If you got some value from this video, then please go ahead and leave this video a like. It's highly appreciated. And subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to build a warrior body with primal training. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.